Dominican Sandra LaRock told InfoHub that being able to showcase her work here in Guyana is a huge accomplishment. She encouraged the viewers to put aside self and patiently observe every piece on display to comprehend its story. I love painting and I started painting a lot and I had them up in my home and I thought my friends would like to see what I have and I thought maybe the general public because I think there is a message to, to be had, the preservation of nature which is really important for me. So at least it can stimulate a level of thinking that we don't take what we have for granted. Guyana, for instance, is so beautiful. Alicia Garnett Williams, the other featured artist, was overwhelmed with the support the event garnered and the compliments she received. In my wildest dream, didn't expect it to come through, but it did, with the help of my friend who was very persistent in us showing the world what we can create and what we can do as women artists here in Guyana. So it's, I'm still floating a bit on cloud nine, but to know that we're here, but it's a great accomplishment. A patron, Robin Cromer, who connected to every piece of art she came across, described her experience. I really enjoyed the exhibit today. The, the colors were very vibrant, and I saw some scenes from Guyana that, that were really nice. I'm new in Guyana. For example, the, the one with the seawall. I really have enjoyed walking on the seawall, so it was fun to see the photos and, and the paintings today. Declaring the exhibition open, Minister of Social Cohesion Dr. George Norton commended the duo for adding their unique style to the landscape of art and Guyana's heritage. The works on display here this evening may add to our country's heritage. Art can be a reflection of not only the artists, but the entire nation they represent. But whether they succeed or fall in this regard, they certainly will add to the continuation of a tradition in visual arts in Guyana, one which may have in the past and continue in the present to sacrifice much for. This is the first exhibition in the last quarter of the year with two more events to complete the year. Persons are encouraged to drop in to view the exhibits at the Castellani House, which continues until November 2. Sonica Thorne, Info Hub.